Hello guys, so today we're going to do this super simple keychain made of the extended single crochet and it's one of my favorite stitches. Um, so you're going to need a um, 5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm using my ghosty hook here um, that I got from a really good friend on Instagram. Uh, and we're going to use this yarn by Lion Brand. It's a um, cotton yarn. I will link... Uh, I will leave a picture of it because I forgot the name of it, but I know it's cotton. And we're going to um, also use a keychain clasp and a yarn needle. And this is the clasp that I use. I will also link it in the description below because I got a bunch of them on Amazon and I love them. And a yarn needle and some scissors and um, a ruler so to get started we're going to start with our slip knot once we have our slip knot ready we're going to chain five um, and this is going to be the width of our keychain. Of course, if you want it um, a little bit wider, just chain more. But for mine, I just did five. All right, so here's my five chains and we're going to make an extended single crochet on our second chain from the hook. So here's our um, second chain and I'm going to make an extended single crochet there. Um, if you don't know how to make the extended single crochet, I will leave the link um, on the tutorial that I have on it. But it's um, essentially um, just a modified single crochet and it's really simple you guys. All right, so once we get to the end, we're going to chain one. And then on that first um, stitch here, we're going to make an extended single crochet. So you're just going to do an extended single crochet all the way across. And you should have four stitches left at the end of each row. Alright guys, so from here on, you're going to repeat the same um, steps, chain one, turn, and make an extended single crochet all the way across. And we're going to repeat this until our project measures um, 11 inches long, or if you want, yours, um, if you want your keychain to be longer, just um, keep um, going until it measures the amount that you want it to be. But for mine, it was 11 inches long. And I also forgot to mention, you guys, that that chain one does not count as a stitch. Okay, so you should always have um, four stitches um, across. So just remember that chain one you do at the beginning does not count as a stitch. Okay, so here I have my sample ready to go. And like I said, mine was about 11 inches long. And uh, make sure to leave a long tail uh, on the end. Obviously, in the beginning, you leave a tail with the slip knot, But in the end, um, leave a long tail so you can weave it in um, and close your keychain. Okay, so now we're going to insert our keychain clasp. And this one that I have moves... Um, around and i really like it like i said i will leave it in the description box 
so uh, I'm just gonna fold my project a little bit so I can insert it in there okay one, once it's on there uh, I'm just going to get the other side of um, my project and I'm going to um, close that together and this doesn't matter what side you use because um, this stitch looks the same on both sides. So it doesn't matter um, where you really place the keychain clasp. So I'm just going to um, insert my yarn needle and I'm going to make um, a, I believe it's called a mattress stitch. Uh, but whatever stitch you like to use to close your projects it's fine as long as you can close it okay all right so here i am almost done i just need to close that very end here and after that uh, we're just going to weave in our ends into our project and uh, pretty much be done you guys and i like to tie these two ends together just so that nothing comes undone and i like to do that twice then after that i just weave it into my project Okay, I just um, cut the excess yarn off camera and I'm just going to grab my little um, keychain clasp and uh, pull it up right where I closed my keychain just so it hides it. And I'm just going to fold it and I am done, you guys. It's really that simple, super easy, super cute and um, I really love it and I've gotten a lot of compliments on this keychain so I hope you make yours too. And don't forget you guys to subscribe and leave a comment below. Comment if you like this pattern, if you want more um, simple patterns like this. I would love to know what you guys want next time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I would see you on my next video. Bye!